Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. It's Zell58 and uh, last episode we ended uh, with a, a attack on Ergo's castle and Dystark uh, being wounded pretty badly. So we're gonna go check it out and see uh, what's going on. Also, you know, find out what uh, we're gonna do about rescuing Teta. And oh, this is a uh, familiar scene. Reminds me of uh, when Zell's dad is on his deathbed. Uh, okay, so looks like he'll be fine. Just uh, looks like Zalbag is uh, is uh, in charge. And it looks like okay, so sounds like you know they're just ready to finish off the death corpse. And yeah, it's just a matter of time before uh, he gets caught. Yeah, but what about Teta? You didn't answer my question, punk. We won't attack until she's returned for certain. Are you? No. I seriously doubt that. Why, you know, say there's, you know, a hundred troops left of the Death Corpse and the Teta's behind them. Of course they're not going to wait until you know she's clear and then attack they're going to try to kill him off and i think delita is is right to be a little like upset like that didn't seem like a good plan like no like ninjas going in to rescue her not like a little like small man team you know to to rescue her no like they said that they were gonna go all out and then yeah oh yeah we're definitely gonna protect her bs so, I'm with you, Delita. Really, really crappy position for that guy to be in. Because, you know, he can't... For, for one reason or another, he can never be a, a great person. Uh, and I think that's why you flash back into the story to understand that, you know, like... People like Algus, you know, that there's many nobles that think like him. That say, you know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't save Teta, you know, she's just some commoner, just like you. Rather than, like, really seeing people for who they are. So, I can definitely see Delita's motivation for, you know, kidnapping the princess in, you know, where the first episode left us off. So, this is... This is a, a very good... Uh, uh, story building, you know, prequel or you know, prologue. And Algus is just some punk, man. Like just saying all the things that he's saying about Delita to his face. He acts like you know, Delita's just dirt. He's expendable. He's just this useless, you know, you know, little peon. And at least Alita knows that, you know, Zell doesn't view him that way. Um, and that, you know, he actually views him as an equal. And finally, get lost, man. <laughs> Don't say that. You know, we're friends, aren't we? If you try to get rid of some of your party members in, uh, in the formation menu, uh, I think that's one of, the, uh, an one of the things that they say before you can uh, officially let them go. Alright, so we're getting our next piece of information. Do your best, you spoiled rotten boy. Dang. Next time I see you, I will kill you. And Algus has left the party. So hopefully he didn't give him any good equipment. Because, well, I first off, why I should slap you. <laughs> uh... And, you know, he just, he, like I said, I always saw him as useless. I think any, any, like, guest characters that you can't really control, they, I don't think they, they play all that well. That might just be my opinion. But, uh, seems to always be the case with me. You know, they just do, they can't do much. They can't really, you can't bring them into any, uh, random encounters. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh a waste and so moving to the next area we get this little scene of 
Delita and Zell, you know, smoking. Or at least that's what it looks like. Um, one of the weirder scenes of this game. I really don't like their reed flute. Very annoying, annoying sound. But, uh, you know, we're winding down this chapter. There isn't much left. There's, I think, like three or four major battles, and then that's it, so. Um, not much that you need to prepare. I mean, there, there isn't anything that you really, like, lose. Um, th there's nothing that you can't complete in this chapter that you can't do later on in the game. In fact, uh, a lot of classes that I've unlocked, you know, aren't really useful because their equipment isn't for sale yet. Yeah, I, uh, I grinded way too much. Reemly is, uh, is now this, uh, amazing time-slash-black mage. Um, uh, and Taku, I, I finally, you know, worked on her with her oracle and, uh, white mage ability, so they're going to be a, uh, power duo. But, uh, that's neither here nor there. So, we have three new spots opening up. I'm just gonna buy some stuff or just see if there's anything left that I can buy that's an upgrade and end the episode here. So next episode we're going to be uh, chugging through these uh, next battles. So until then, this is L58 saying thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, appreciate, and I will see you later. Bye.